This weekend, Atlanta marks the 50th anniversary of one of its most tragic days. The entire city stood still when more than 100 people, most of them leaders in the community, died in a plane crash at Orly Airport in Paris. Channel 2's John Pruitt spoke to a woman who lost her parents. John. John, so many Atlantans lost loved ones on June 3rd, 1962, when that plane crashed in flames at Orly. It was a huge blow to our city, but out of that tragedy came a triumph. It was the worst air disaster in history to that point. 130 died, 106 of them Atlantans, the core of the city's cultural and civic community. For Atlanta, it was an unimaginable disaster. And these are my folks. For Pat Reynolds, it was infinitely worse. Her parents were among those who perished in the flaming wreckage. Pat, then 18, had seen them off at Atlanta's airport, where they took a photograph. I said, oh, let's get your picture taken before you go. So they jumped in the booth, and um, we dropped our quarter in the slot, and that was the picture that came out, and I'm very grateful that I have it. You had no idea how much you would cherish no. that picture? No, it's just very, very special. And um, I don't know what the words are, frankly. Architect Thomas Little and his wife Charlotte were excited about seeing the historic wonders of Europe. But just 25 days later, June 3, 1962, the Air France charter bringing the group home crashed and exploded beyond the end of the runway at Orly Field. Atlanta's new mayor, Ivan Allen Jr., flew to Paris to survey the scene of tragedy, and the city was in shock. The truth of the matter is that only comparable thing that I can compare it to in our lifetime is the 9-11, when the whole country basically held its breath. But from the ashes of Orly came a recommitment to the idea of an arts center for Atlanta, and the result was the Memorial Arts Center, now the Woodruff Arts Center, a lasting tribute to the arts patrons who perished. The families of the victims still try to cope with their loss. During our visit with Pat Reynolds, she mentioned she had film of her parents as they departed Atlanta that someone at WSB had given her before the crash. Not having any way to view the film, she put it in a drawer where it's been for 50 years. We were able to get the old film dubbed a DVD and for a brief moment... There's my mother and my dad right there. Pat catches a short glimpse of her parents. They're all smiling. They're all excited. As they boarded the plane, See how dressed up they were? Her father waving before turning to board just behind her mother. That's so neat to be able to see that. What a neat treasure. She was very moved to see that. Uh, and she will be at the Memorial Arts Center, this, the Woodruff Arts Center, this uh, coming uh, Sunday, the anniversary, mm -hmm. for a special gathering of those connected to the tragedy. And it's a community day at the Arts Center. A lot of free activities going on yeah. as another way to commemorate this event. Yeah, and it, it, I mean, it's amazing to see that video there, and, and what a treasure to find that. Yeah, it had never been seen for 50 years. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And and I don't know who gave it to her, but that's against our policy. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Someone gave it to her and she squirreled right. away. We'll make right. an exception, and sure. And don't reveal your sources yeah. either. But, John, you will have more on the anniversary. Sunday at 6, we'll uh, have more on the uh, special gift the French government gave to the city as a result of this crash, and, of course, more from Pat. Okay. The actual day. All right, John. Thank John. you.